Welcome everyone to my actual Hardest Tower. As of January the 27th, 2024, this is the actual Hardest Tower that I have beaten. Welcome to the Tower of Jakundigui by Kronku. These videos that you're about to see and this tower right here is what Push the Terrifying Finale has actually been leading up to. But Logan. You said that this video was supposed to be descent into exile, and you literally showed off a win message for it. And you talked about it inside of your TOCL video. Well, what if I told you that was fake? And Camille spoofed the timer and checkpoints to allow me to fake that win message to cover up the fact that this tower was my actual hardest tower. And before y'all get mad at me, let us bring our favorite argument started, the top towers. This tower is harder than Todai. So if anything, I actually lied about the scope of this achievement, alright? Since I know a lot of people will be disappointed, I will be grinding Toad Eye starting now, and my Toad Eye badge is gone from my Atos 100% profile. Go look for it. I bet you can't. Anyways, I want to address the elephant in the room that I bet everybody also has and is one of the main reasons why I actually decided to hide this tower behind me being Todai as a troll and me keeping this tower a secret for so long in general. What the hell is Tower of Jakundigloi? I am sure that pretty much 90% of you haven't heard of this tower and know absolutely nothing about it. If you're of the under 10% who does know about this tower, Here's a time segment for you to skip to if you don't want to hear what this tower is and the whole backstory to what this is. If you want to have a review, go ahead and keep on watching. But for those of you in the 90% who are confused and want an explanation as to what this tower is, well, allow me to explain that for you. So let me firstly talk to you about a tower that I am sure most of you actually know about. Tower of Astronomically Aimless Annoyances. This is a tower made by Kronku that is extreme difficulty. It's just the side of Zone 4. I even made two videos about it and pushed it terrifying. Meanwhile, this tower, Tower Jakundi Glowy, is basically its sequel. It's even made by Kronku himself. And you might even know it by its old name, Tower of Gluey Gooey Grievances. This tower, though, is nothing much like its TO AAA counterpart. The gameplay of this tower is, well, unique to say the least. It's nothing like the simplicity of TO AAA at all. For those who know about TO AAA's gameplay, it's rather simplistic, but it's super satisfying to go through. But when it comes to simplicity, TOJ is the complete opposite. This tower's gameplay, and its gameplay style, is a complete one-off. It's very sophisticated and a lot more complicated than its counterpart. So, I am sure some of you may now be thinking, Wow! This tower must be pretty new then, since I haven't heard about it. Well, here's the thing. It's not. It's actually over a year old. The reason why you might haven't heard of this? Unfortunately, this tower is not the most loved. In fact, it's probably one of the most hated catastrophic towers of all time, unfortunately. In fact, it's so unloved that it actually failed its third and final review for Jato. Meaning, if it ever wants to have a chance of getting into Jato, it needs a complete brand new revamp. Now, as someone who has actually touched this tower a lot, this review, in my opinion, isn't the most accurate at all. 
but I will get to that when I beat this tower, where I can actually explain my full thoughts on the tower itself. Right now, I'm just trying to get the people who don't know about this tower to be able to understand what this is. So, why did this tower fail? Well, a huge reason why this tower failed was because of what you're looking at right now. This tower's way of punishment is rather unique compared to other towers. This tower has very few GBJs and soft locks in it. But, in a lot of sections, when you fail, you get sent into what you're looking at right now! The Recovery Obby section. When you fail certain sections of the tower, you'll be sent to this Recovery Obby. An obby of insane to unreal difficulty gets selected at random. Wait, Logan, did you just say unreal difficulty? Well, here's the thing. The horrific and unreal obbies aren't actually horrific and unreal. Unfortunately, a lot of people just flat out took the name of those obbies at face value and let that influence their opinions of the tower. It doesn't help when you think the horrific and unreal obbies are actually horrific and unreal, but the horrific and unreal obbies are not horrific and unreal difficulty. And the irony is, throughout my time playing this tower, I thought the horrific and unreal obbies were more consistent than the Catastrophic Obby, so I was happier to see Horrific and Unreal come up than the f***ing Catastrophic Obby. You have three lives, so you're able to come to these Recovery Obbies a total of three times every run. But, there's a catch. If you fail one of these Obbies, you get insta-killed. So this is like your second chance at life. But if you fall in the Recovery Obbies, or you fall a fourth time, your run is done, and it's game over. You're soft lock. Because of the nature that the difficulty of the obby you get chosen is done completely at random, and failing it is death, caused some people, including Jato's curators, to not like the idea very much. So, they would rather just have a crap ton of softlocks in the tower? Okay then. But, as I will show throughout my time in TOJ, these recovery obbies are not nearly as bad as people made them out to be. That's not the only issue people have, though, with this tower. Another issue people have with TOJ is the gameplay. There's a lot of jumps at face value that can be seen as absolute dog crap. People very commonly call this tower inconsistent. Oh dear, I am sounding real hypocritical right now, aren't I? I mean, look at this section. It looks absolutely disgusting, right? Well, here's the funny thing you see, and let me speak about this from my own personal experience. This tower is not your average catastrophic tower at all. Towers like Descent to Exile, it's insanely obvious what the objective is, and you just have to do the same jump 300 times until you get it down. And the amount of options for strategies that you have are very minimal. But however, in Jakundi Glowy, the gameplay style makes the jumps really open into interpretation. It seems obvious what you need to do, but in reality, it's a lot more complicated than it seems. And what do I mean by this? Well, let me introduce you to this jump on Floor 7 that you're going to see a million times throughout these videos. It seems like you need to go ahead and land on this wedge. Simple! Just jump onto the wedge, you think? There's nothing blocking me from doing so. So that's obviously what I'm meant to do, right? Wrong! If you try, you'll notice that you'll immediately hit your head, or the sphere makes the landing really awkward. So, you think this jump is really inconsistent, and falling here by the way sends you to the recovery obbies. Well, what you actually do is climb on the sphere and do the jump that way. It's not that bad at all, it's not inconsistent at all, but the solution was not obvious. But because the jump was taken at face value, you got the wrong idea about the jump. And jumps like this that can be interpreted incorrectly are EVERYWHERE in Jakundi Glui. And they are very easy in terms of messing with your mind if you don't know what you're doing. Which causes this tower to sadly get a ton of hate. But, if you sit down and think about the jumps in a strategic sense, you'll be able to figure out how to make them work. And when you figure out a strategy to make them work, it doesn't take long for you to get consistent with it at all. And unfortunately though, not many people take up this tower because of what this tower seems at face value. And I actually was one of those people too. It wasn't until Randy was grinding this tower 
and he told me to actually give it a chance when I realized what the community says about this tower wasn't exactly true. And pretty much nobody knows this, but as a result, I tried to actually beat this tower over a year ago shortly after Randy verified it, but the tower was confirmed to scope 3 of Caleb's Soul Crushing Domain. So my naive mind thought it would be decently soon when it would arrive, so I stopped. Boy was I wrong! So finally in July, I decided to give up waiting for scope 3 and finally give this tower a go. I guess it worked out because CSCD wants me to test and possibly re-beat Jakundigui as bug testing for Scope 3. But anyways, I was so sick of everybody ripping me off over having cataclysmic layers as my hardest, and I wanted to beat a tower that I was actually proud of. No other way to make myself feel proud than to beat a tower that people really hate is harder than Todai, and not many people have actually done. That isn't to say that this tower is flawless, though. There are some issues I actually have with this tower. Case in point, Floor 10. This floor has some of the hardest gameplay, I swear, in any catastrophic tower. Worse than stuff like Inside a Champion's Road. And that comes from experience, by the way, as I played that tower for a little while. This floor sucks, and it's brutal. However, just like the rest of Jakundi Gluey, what's when you learn what works for you, and you sit and spend the time to find strategies, it's really surprising how consistent it actually can be. But yeah, this part is DEFINITELY too hard for this tower. Finally, that's the background of this tower. As I mentioned, this tower is confirmed to scope 3 of Caleb's Soul Crushing Domain. If you're a Soul Crushing player, the lineup of this area is something wicked, I'll tell you. Definitely, possibly the best soul crushing ring of all time. So I think Jakundi Glowy having a home there is a good ending to the sad story of this tower. But nonetheless, let's get started with the actual video, shall we? You know, you came here to watch me play the tower, not talk about it, right? The journey of me beating this tower began on July 7th of last year. At this point, I pretty much finished my practice on the tower itself. Which, considering how I mentioned that this tower is really strategy-oriented, took me an insanely long time to do so, and would be very boring to watch. So I am not going to paint you with footage of me learning the tower. Just imagine trying to learn Champion's Road but worse. You'd cry watching it. What isn't horrible to watch, though, and good for you guys who don't know the tower too well, so that you're able to get to know it better, is me practicing the recovery obbies. Since the recovery obbies are the same no matter where you fall, that can make you land there, practicing these grants you practice everywhere in the tower. Therefore, they're insanely important to learn. What's annoying though is there's no god mode tool in the practice place for Jakundi Glue. Meaning, if you fall, you're just dead and there's nothing you can do. But, fortunately, there's another way. So yeah, the, the solution is this. So for some reason, I don't I don't know why, this tower's model is indeed public, so all you really need to do is grab the model, delete the kill brick in here, and add the scripts from the 5.5 kit, and there you go. You, you, you have a fully functional way to practice the wheel obbies. That's not a major pain in your ass. Pretty cool! I played the, um, I played the practice obbies a little bit just to make sure that, you know, I could actually use them to practice, and they seem the exact same! I don't notice anything different about them, so... Yeah! So, I'm sure some of you may be confused as to what I am talking about, but basically what this is, is... In certain sections of this tower, it's not everywhere, but in a few sections, like, for example... Um, the second section of, of seven, right here, if you fail this, you get sent in here. And you are given a obby at complete randomness. It can be any soul crushing difficulty, except extreme. I don't know why extreme is on the wheel, but it is. And if you fail this, as I showed you, um, you die. So that's kind of the thing. But if you do it, I don't think this script is going to work. No. But in the place, it'll send you back to the start of the floor where you fell. Pretty freaking cool! 
Now the thing is, people see horrific and unreal and take them at face value. And therefore, people go ahead and absolutely crap the hell out of this tower for it. So, what I'm gonna do is, since this is like genuine- oops. This is like a really important part of TO Jam, because there are- while it's not everywhere, I'd say probably only about 30% of the time when you fall this is gonna be here. It's still really important because you have three lives. If you fall in if you fall in the fourth time, unless in a special condition, I'll show you another time. Um, you do lose, you are screwed. And having the ability to have your run not completely end is pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. I think this idea is actually really cool. Lots of people criticize it because it's like, oh, every run is a different difficulty, but the thing is, if you practice these sections like you're meant to, it's fine. So what I've told myself is, for each of the difficulties, because these these obbies are genuinely like, really important in order for you to do well in this tower, that I'm going to pass each of them three times in a row. I don't think I could probably do Unreal three times in a row, but we will see. This is going to be a very long process. But, getting consistent at these obbies is genuinely extremely important. Because this is like practice for everywhere in the tower. Like, genuinely. It's really important. For a frame of reference, everywhere on floor 10 sends you here. If you feel 10, you go in here. And floor 10, as um, you will see, is an absolute <laughs> It's really freaking hard. So, if you fail floor 10, which you will many times, you want to be good at this. You really want to be good at this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was three times in a row. I, I'm pretty sure that was three. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> How good am I at this? Let's find out. Why is the light? The lighting in here is definitely different, but I don't care. As long as it allows me to practice. See, this is what's supposed to happen. That's what's supposed to happen. Bruh, I just freaking walked on. Well, it looks like I'm doing it right now. <laughs> That's three times in a row. Oh god. The problem is the most common one you land on is Kata. And guess what my least favorite one is? <laughs> Freaking hate this obby. I hate it. It used to be for me that the horrific obby was more consistent than the Kata one. I wonder if that will remain. Because, God, I hate this obby so much. It's so annoying. Especially the- Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That jump sucks! You have to, like... Yeah. We don't- We don't like this. We don't... It sucks. Oh! Now, I was so hoping that would work. I was so ho- What? Um. Hi, Aubrey. Hello, Mario. How are you? I'm doing fine. What are you grinding? Uh, something. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> I'm actually shocked you don't know what this is, actually. 
Uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I thought you'd recognize this very quickly. Is it... Okay, I'm gonna go on a whim here and say Tower of Watermelon? No, good guess though. It has, it kinda has that style. It's almost like it might be another no solve tower. It is not, but you, you're you're kind of on the right track. <laughs> I couldn't guess otherwise. It's TOJ. TOJ? Yeah, it's the Kronku Tower. Oh, oh Tower of <laughs> Tower of Jokunda Gluey. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, Tower of Jazz. What? But yeah, I I don't like. This is the recovery obby, that's probably why you don't fully recognize it. Yeah. I, I took out the insta-kill, that's what I did. <laughs> oh, I love Ring 11, it's my favorite ever. Does this f work? No, that, that would be too good to be true if that method actually freaking worked. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> that actually... It, it might. That works? It might. Oh, that saves a lot of camera control possibilities of error. Yeah. Oh my god. That makes the chances of error with the camera control on that jump so much lower. Jeez. Th th yeah, th you know. this jump just sucks. Oh my god, it sucks. Wait, I have an idea. Does this work? Oh, it might. <laughs> that gives me the height, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. How do you do these things? This is why I can't be Gattas, because I don't have strategies. I don't know how people come up with these on the fly. Oh. It, it's tricky to fall. It's always, a, it's always tricky to do things. Yeah, it's always a that's the kind of jump I'd put in if TOVT was Kata. Honestly, fair play to you. <laughs> fair point. You the entire kind of recovery probably is probably hard. Hmm? The entire recovery obviously is probably hard. Not all of them though. Insane and terrifying or anything. Oh, this is this is Oh, okay. So it's 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 like it like picks our random recovery out of a different difficulty. Yes. Can it pick it can it pick easy? No. It's only SCs. <laughs> God damn it! Since scrap down to like two or three hours, I think you actually might have to rely on the log. I'm actually... This video makes me actually want to look at the place, because I'm pretty sure there is actually a difference in here. Oh! It is removed. Oh, it's a two turn sound! This yes, is awesome! Yes, it is! <laughs> yes! I think that sound is really f All right then, buddy. I'm gonna have to teach you how to download Synapse X. No, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> it's okay, I don't even have it. What? Uh <laughs> Why is this here now? <laughs> the sound. Where, wait, where's the kill break? I just realized Wait, the music is working. What? <laughs> what? This should not be working. What? <laughs> what, what the fuck? Did um, you re re Roblox bug found any audio can be approved for any game? I'm so confused. That should not work. I feel like it's because you played a game that has like approved the same exact audios. Yeah, you need to climb that up in one shot, or else you are not gonna make it.
Okay. <gasps> what happened? I just did Cataclysm as a roll. What the hell? That came out of nowhere. GG. Alright. Mm. Where's my bubby? Here he is. Let's see how let's see if I'm actually as good at this as I used to be. Probably not. By the way, Randy did this on a run for on ten. Oh my god. He literally did this obby from floor ten. I don't know how the f he did it. I'm gonna laugh so hard right now. <laughs> I just did it first try. <laughs> oh my god. Why is. I swear to god. I stand by so hard that this obby is better than the Kata one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> I find that so freaking funny. Yeah, I, I don't care what anyone says, this gameplay is not horrific. Yeah, I- <laughs> this obby is so much more consistent than Kata. It so is. Oh my god. I keep choking at the start. I know that there's like a way, I think, to circumvent that jump, but... Yeah, <laughs> you can do that if you want. Oh! That's consistent, what the hell? <laughs> and, yeah, and so here comes the differences of catastrophic and horrific. <laughs> I might honestly just do that jump. I know it's a skip, but I don't really care. I love killing people. Okay, that's gonna be in the video now because I just did horrific twice <laughs> or three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Alright, time for Big Bertha. This is gonna suck. Oh, yeah. Yep, the insane obby. <laughs> oh boy. How the hell do I want to go about this? I th I don't think I've even done the Unreal Obby once. Oh no, this jump's gonna be bad. Yeah, I can tell this is gonna be a bugger, <laughs> but it's not- it's not that bad, and plus the chances of it are like literally lower than 1 in 5 to get it, so... I'm not concerned. Okay, at least you have a reason to. Also, I just did her Unreal. Nice. I genuinely don't feel like the Unreal obby's that bad either. <laughs> oh my god. It really is! It's literally just that one jump on Kata that sucks. Everything else is fine. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I 
guys, I'm sorry. This is right next to me on my desk, and I don't know why. <laughs> it sounds demented. Listen to this. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just this dog. And sadly, it's just like sad enough for like the people that I'm in VC with. The, this button is that it. This button that it has to like make those sounds is fun to press. <laughs> I'm gonna crack open a cold one. Okay, buddy. Oh, okay, buddy. You're a little too young for that. It's not a. It's a, it's a Dr Pepper. It's fine. Okay, and your point. But you see, I'm American. And I don't drink too much to the point where I'll literally die, so it's okay. I don't drink soda at all at home. Yeah, that makes sense. I literally drink like a gallon of water every day. I'm not even joking. Damn. I I I drink I drink water too, it's okay. I don't I don't I don't live off of just this. Some people do! Yeah, but that isn't me. I know. Yeah. It's, it's like, why would you do that to yourself? I don't know, because they consume liquid and it, it, it tastes better than water. Even though it barely has a taste and more so just like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel it, or I don't know how to explain it. I like sweetened tea, but not all the time. Hmm. I'm getting close to getting consistent at the Unreal Lobby, I can tell. Damn. I, I looked, I looked at... There, there is this like I'm, I'm in this like Discord server for like artist commissions, and I looked at some I looked at someone's art, and I and I looked at it, and I was like, oh, I really like this, and then I looked at their bio, and it's an NSFW artist. I think I'm gonna kill myself. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? Bro. I'm just getting screwed. I Man. have the consistency. I'm just getting so trolled right now. Yeah. I uh, I don't know. Like the fact that you're consistent at this in the first place is it looks inconsistent to be honest. That this is this tower just looks inconsistent, but it's not. I don't know how else to describe it. Well, uh, a good way to describe it is that it's named Tower of Jakundiglui, which I think is a good enough discerner that, yeah, it, it, it seems inconsistent, because it's literally named Tower of Jakundiglui. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was such a lame way to go. I mean, it's not a bad name, I think it's really funny, but like, my point. Oh? Oh? I'm at two again. I just need to do it one more time, come on. Come on. No! <laughs> I literally failed the last failable jump. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the consistency is there though, 100%. Yeah. I'm sure you've got it. Considering that this is considering considering this is like below, or, or it's like it's less than one one fifth of a chance. It, it's something that you shouldn't worry about too much, although I do understand just like getting it consistent in case it happens.
Bro, come on! Damn. This is like the fourth, third or fourth time I've been at two that I failed. Come on. Are you f***ing kidding me? Oh my god. I've never screwed that up, and I probably missed it by frames. Are you serious? And no. This, literally, I think the only jump that I'm bad at on Unreal is the last one. It's literally just a, con a contest of seeing if I can pass it. Oh, that was close. I finally did it! <laughs> oh my god, I got it! <sighs> I did it three times in a row. <laughs> oh my god, I am done. I'm done. I've been practicing these for almost two hours. Oh my god. <laughs> that sounds like hell. Hey, that actually took way shorter, like, way quicker than I thought. The only obby I'm not confident with is literally Kata. <laughs> yeah, and that shouldn't be the case. No! <laughs> like... <laughs> that is so stupid. And there you have it. Every single practice obby completed three times in a row. With an asterisk, you'll understand what I mean another time. So, with that, practice on this tower is complete. I was more excited than ever to start off a grind, believe it or not, because of how much fun I was having doing practice runs on the tower after I learned the gameplay. But, I still had some quirks I needed to deal with. So, I got on a call with Zoe to begin my first runs ever on the tower, while she looked at certain sections I couldn't figure out just yet how to complete. And with that, the grind for Jakundi Gluey finally begins. Hi. Hello. If I sound like I am dead, it is because I literally could not sleep because the humidity is so high. Oh, same. Is there anything to struggle with specifically on this floor? Uh, ten? Yeah. Um, about two-thirds of the way through. Alright. There's a Good jump enough. from a wedge onto a cylinder. Wedge onto a cylinder? Oh. I'll it's like a, it's a fun, it's like a squeeze that's really janky. Mm. I'm pretty good at it, but it's like the one oh, I jump think I'm, I- I think I'm at it right now, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty see, good yeah. at it, but it's like the one jump I don't understand at all yet. Yeah, I think this one's just camera control. Yeah, I thought it was. Although I have yeah. noticed there are, there is some strategy to it, for sure. Hold on, I think I might have found something. I, I'm doing like a little, wait, okay, hold on, it was working, uh, like a little, and then it was working, wait, uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> that might work. I don't work. know why it's not working now. Um, that, wait, that's literally I, that jump, that's literally that jump, Zoe. What if I align myself with this, and then I like, uh, oh yeah. That might work. There's only, um, there's a jump in one of the recovery obbies I'm, I'm kind of with, but I'm pretty sure it's just camera control. If you go like here, mm -hmm. and then you kind of just adjust yourself to your align with this wall like this, right? Okay. You just do a jump. Oh, wait, that might actually be, that might actually be really good. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I got the strat now. Okay. I got a consistent way to not, like, slide down on the wedges. Well. Oh, look! It's the obby with the sh jump I don't like. Okay, so, what you're gonna do, right? I'm just gonna screw up my everything, right? Yep. Okay. Go up to the top. Get to this part of this stud, right? Yep. Like, you see how it's on the edge of it? Yeah. Then you can turn. It won't make you slide down. 
you just go to the, like basically align with the wall fish and you just do it. Let me act. Let me. Oh, that is insane. Yeah, it's a pretty cool strat, actually. Yeah, that, that, that's actually pretty damn cool that it works. Yeah. Let me see if I can get to it. Possible fourth rerun? Hello? I don't know how to explain it, but you can actually go into the mechanism and choose which hobby you want, by the way. Really? Yeah. I don't know how to explain it, though. The one you're on right now. Oh. Yeah. It's nasty. That's what we're doing here. Mm-hmm. Yep, you basically yeah. have to do that, and I could not get the alignment right for it. Oh, that's wonky. Yeah. Like that. So when you hit this, you're. Oh. That's inconsistent, by the way. Don't think yeah. you just. Yeah. When you it. when you yeah no when you hit this, you basically are aligned with the two side gaps. So you can hit it and then probably turn after, okay. or turn like right before you hit it. Like, yeah, that's super. Yeah, the bad. issue with that jump really for me. That's so weird. I hate that. The issue is. Is sometimes you like climb right up like you did, and other times you like barely climb onto it, and you basically just have yeah, to no. pray and guess. This jump, it's just stupid. I actually don't know how to do this consistently. Yeah, it's. But yeah, you just try and turn it in the two step gap. That's that's about the best step I can give you. God and damn probably it. jump through that. Yeah, I've done all the recovery obbies three times in a row. Nice. Yeah, hey, that obby is not very nice. Like yeah, that. literally <laughs> everybody's like, wah, 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 horrific unreal. Wah, 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 wah. Meanwhile, it's the Kata obby that's actually the one that sucks. Yeah. The unreal obby just looks horrible, and then you learn it. It's like, oh, this is actually pretty damn good. Mm hmm. A lot of the jumps in this tower are on, and that's why people just look at it and think it's immediately garbage. Mm hmm. I don't think this tower is garbage. I just the one thing that I dislike about this tower is the fact that it's so hard to rate the difficulty of it. <laughs> because I don't think it's that bad, know. honestly. And it's just because every run is different. Like some people fall and only get the easiest obvious, and like well, to other me, people it's fall not, and only get the not hard ones. Really... Why do I keep failing three? Three is the easiest floor uh. of the tower. I keep f***ing it up. Um, for me, it's like, you know, you're, you're, you just kind of just practice them and get consistent in all the practice obbies, and then it's like the same difficulty every time. Well, okay. I, I, I feel like if you get easy, it's easier than doing, like, horrific, but... Well, yeah, but... I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's, it's just like... For me, I, I that's why would... That's the only reason the difficulty is like, right for me. Mm -hmm. Like, literally for me, I'd rather see the Unreal obby show up than the Kata obby. Yeah. Most people would see the Unreal Obby and lose their mind. And plus, practicing it's a pain in the ass, but the thing is, you can take the TOJ model now and just get rid of the insta-gill, which is what I did. Yeah. This is really good for Kronk and Kata gameplay, though. It is. I, I, didn't, I didn't expect a Kronk and Kata to be any good at all, but... Honestly, it's Bruh? not... Bruh? That jump's weird. I don't know what even happened to you there. You I got bounced off, off yeah! <laughs> That's rough, dude, what? Also, is this tower place on the list? Yes, it is. It is? Okay. It's a little bit above Todai, actually. Okay. That makes sense, in my opinion. Yeah. It... Todai is, like, not nearly as hard as it looks once you learn it, I'm gonna say that. Okay. I'm just so Looks bad at camera control that it's oh, like. Oh, okay. That's then like, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why it's, I'm it's doing one of those towers part. where if you have camera control, it's, it's like cataclysmic players. If you have camera control, it turns it into like two years, light years easier. Like, it's 
so much, it's so much better if you have good camera control. You think as a TOCL victor, I would have good camera control, but god, are you mistaken. Oh no, I saw, I saw you just looking for strats on everything. <laughs> I don't know what made my camera control so good, but I, I, it's kind of always just been alright. I guess TUCR if I had to put one thing, or Cobalt Paradox, because those were, yeah, those were pretty agonizing experiences. Were they uncanny agonizing experiences? <laughs> oh, way worse, but yeah. <laughs> Would never recommend doing Cobalt Paradox. Don't, please, just don't. Well, I don't play fucking tiered obbies for a reason. <laughs> please, just never do, okay? <laughs> do you think I'm ever gonna them. play a tiered obby with the way I no, am? No, but, but I just gotta gotta send my warning anyway. I freaking hate them. I'm kind of happy the tiered obbies have been like dying recently. Yeah, same. The one thing is, though, uh, you know Cyclics, right? Oh, God. So, he has, like, really good progress on, um, back there, Benjamin. Which okay. would be a top one obby. It's, like, equal to or harder than COIV, so... Fun. That's very fun. Alright, four times. Yeah, no, that, that's like an end of, like, end of... Ah, sh Which one is no, it? No, yeah, the word is definitive. The word is definitive. Okay. That's, that's like, that's like a definitive top one. Like, it is a definitive tier 18. It, like, I, there's no doubt. And that's, that's insane to me that that's even a, like, a thing that's happening, but... Yeah, no, that obby is ridiculous. Like, I'm pretty sure even doing half of the obby in one run is a tier 17. It's like doing Fun. two tier 17s in a row, which... <laughs> yeah. Just what I want to do. Thank you. There we go. Oh, f Oh, my... Yeah, four is God. not... Oh, here we go. Oh, unreal. Well, time to see what you mean. <laughs> So the good thing about it is that Kronku can't make Unreal gameplay, so... True? <laughs> it's gonna end up being like Kata. <laughs> I don't think it's really meant to be Unreal, by the way. Mm. No! I got- oh. that was the second last jump, I'm not even joking. That is unfortunate. Yeah, not that hard. <laughs> this is a good try, yeah. Thanks to Zoe and her help, Pretty much at this point I had learned the entire tower, and now it was time to go ahead and get down to business. Since this tower's balancing as discussed is extremely catered towards the ending of the tower, getting progress at first was not that difficult. Getting to floor 4 was very quickly becoming more and more normal, and considering 4 is the first floor in the tower that gives difficulties, it's not that surprising that I was struggling to pass it. But nonetheless, the grind for my second catastrophic tower was now fully in swing, and it was time to begin fully working on this thing in full swing. And the best part was, barely anybody knew about it. <sighs> wow, that was just cheap as hell. Wow. Are you f kidding me? No. Oh my god, floor four. <laughs> of course, floor four! Ah, that was so stupid, dude. Oh, come on, dude! Floor four is so bad.
And you give me cat it, you son of a bitch. Of course you do. Runs over. Yep, what a big fing shocker! Let's go! To floor five of Tower of Jakundi Glowy. It's located floor four position wise, but don't worry about it. This floor's objective is to do a loop inside the frame to be able to press a button to obtain a key so you can get on the floor six. This is the first floor of the tower where it begins to actually get pretty tricky. Floor four only has a couple of sections that are difficult, but this floor has actual difficult gameplay. It even includes a section earlier on in the video that I used as an example of look bad, actually good. Naturally, this being the first actual hard floor, this is people's first roadblock to play in this tower. But I love this floor. It's really fun and enjoyable. But alright, enough of me yammering.
Oh my god. Yes! Welcome to Floor 6. There's a truss onto the starting platform, so this floor is completely ne- Oh. Oh. I'm stuck here, aren't I? Yes. Yes, you are. Remember when I said this tower had very few soft locks and GBJs? This floor is why I didn't say zero. If you fail this floor, your run is completely over. As compensation, though, the gameplay is less difficult compared to its neighbors. But don't let that fool you. This floor is still difficult. There's not really much to say other than that Randy is wrong about this being the best song in the tower. I I'm sorry, that winner goes to Fine Night, buddy. Okay, cool. I'm full of that. Cool. Alright, time for a break. Unfortunately, my first visit to Floor 6 was not successful, and I got myself into the soft lock. Oh well. But, getting to Floor 6 on your very first session on a Kata? That's insane. I put in God knows how many hours into Descent into Exile just to never be able to pass Floor 5. Granted, this tower's balancing is definitely second half heavy. I'm not even close to success, even if it seems that I am 50% of the way there. But, getting to floor 6 still is insanely welcome. This fail, though, only made me more motivated to continue. Later on in the day, when I came back and decided to try and play again, I realized something. I still had all the counters from my first time playing the tower still set up in my recording software. Oh my god, I still have those? I thought I didn't have those anymore! Oh! I genuinely did not think I had my TOJ counters anymore. I still do. This meant that I could actually press a button on my macro keyboard that I have and actively count the number of runs I got to the higher floors and the fails on the roulette wheel. So I went ahead and revitalized them again to get them working. Upon doing so, I decided to keep the visibility of them in my recording software completely shut the entire time, so at the very end of the grind that we could go ahead and look back and see how we did. But, also doing this, I made myself a macro. You see, as of this video's release, this tower is not in any game. It's confirmed for Scope 3 of Chaos Soul Crushing Domain, which has a confirmed release date of the Heat Death of the Universe. So, as mentioned, this tower isn't in any game. This means that there's no unloading and reloading of client objects again, because there's no system for this, because this tower is in its own standalone place. Which means every time you want to reset the tower at all, or reset your run, you have to rejoin the game every time. This is one of the massive disadvantages to grinding towers outside of tower games, like Jato and Atos. Kronku, though, was rather nice about this, and made it possible to where you can type slash rejoin in the chat in order to rejoin the lobby. There's only one issue, though. If you're in the server alone, Roblox will close the server, and you will get an error. If you're also in a private server, it'll just send you into a public server anyway. This means that in order for this command to actually be useful, you need an alternative account also in the game, in a public server so that the server does not close on you. This is why you've been seeing this Bordeaux fella on my server list all the time. But for me, I'm always copying and pasting images, so having slash rejoin on my clipboard is a pain in my ass. Therefore, on my macro keyboard, I set it up a macro so that it types out the slash rejoin command every time. This sounds like a pain in the ass, and that's because it is. But however, this is just what happens when you decide to go ahead and grind a tower that's not in any game. It's just part of the lifestyle. Unfortunately, this session lended no other progress or interesting events, and I decided to go ahead and give this tower yet another go later in the same day again. Oh yeah, I fell out of my chair over here. <laughs>
Oh, good job. You feel all right? Yeah, I think the new tire being flipped over and it scared me. It was fine though. That was actually kind of funny, but it hurt. <laughs> It sounds it sounds almost cartoonish. It is. It literally is. The whole thing flipped over completely. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wasn't this originally called like Tower of Ejaculation or something? Yes. That's yes. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know why it was called that. Tower Ejaculation. That's awful. <laughs> The thing is, the term ejaculation doesn't refer to what you're thinking of. Wait, is that actually a word? Yes, it is. I what does it mean? I'm, if I remember right, it's something with plants. Okay, is that like, is that a tower of glue? Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Okay, but the problem is... Oh, sorry. Is it right? is the act of pitching, throwing, or hurling. <laughs> it's to ejaculate is to throw. I must be selling. It, it kind of makes sense. It's only used for like darts and javelins. Imagine being somebody who does javelins. Explain to some random person that you ejaculate something. <laughs> oh yeah, I ejaculate my javelin for a living. <laughs> something funny. You want to know the funny part about this grind? I'm doing this tower because I thought Todai was too hard for me, and I wanted to do something else. Yeah. And this. I'm kind of doing that too. Uh, this tower is considered harder than Todai. Yeah, I did the same thing. I'm like, I can't do Todai, so I'm gonna do something else because Todai's too hard for me. So you know what I decided? You did TOCR. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's a great fun. I don't lie. I'm just so bad at camera control, and TOJ isn't as free. It's a lot more strategy based, so. But I thought. I like shot towers. I didn't expect, like, um, TOCR's gameplay, but I actually did. Like, you know the jump on the catastrophic obby I absolutely suck at? I don't um, know Aubrey? Uh, yeah, yeah. Freaking I... Callie comes in and just does it every freaking time like it's nothing. And she goes to my face so, going, oh, it's not that hard. I don't know what's wrong with you. That's what I do with, like, everything. Callie hasn't even beaten a freaking SC. Have you played Pizza Tower? No. I was surprised. Eh, actually, I, I think you both should at least try it. I put it on Slayer. I still think. Why are soldiers I find? Because Konku is deranged. <laughs> Horrific! <laughs> and then you know the end of the universe. I got I horrific. Why I, I love the recovery obby, by the way. Same. It's an interesting thing. That's not that's awesome. Yeah. Do you have a shovel? That Especially cool. when um, everybody goes ahead and complains about horrific when it's actually really easy. Well, I wouldn't say really easy, but it's easier than the Kata Obby in my opinion, so. Yeah. Didn't you find even the Unreal Obby easier than the Oh, I'm more consistent at the Unreal Obby than the Kata Obby, yeah. Oh my goodness. Or Tio, like overthinking life choices is Kata anymore. No, it's not. I beat Kako's yeah. McClayers. Oh! Wait, you did that? Yeah. How, how, did you say that to me? I, I forgot. I don't think so. I haven't I haven't been. I beat that tower a long time ago. It's just I haven't been so loud mouthy about it. Because uh. a lot of people don't even think I've beaten Alien Radiance yet, so. Oh my god. Yes, I'm serious! Still? Yes! I, I, that okay, I'm, I'm at, I'm at the funny it. part of this tower that everybody knows about. I don't think I've ever seen this. Okay, that's cool. Here it is. Right here. Alright, how's this one gonna end? Oh my god. Um, I don't know what's happening because I'm not looking. Can I get, like, options? Hmm? I need subtitles. I need subtitles. Um, what is Gift 2? Oh, 
Oh, about her. I played about her. You're using, you're using pesto anchovy. I can tell Crunk who added these before Pizza Tower was even released. I think he did. I saw it. I was a Pizza Tower fan too before release. Nice! That's a five. Is this game party out? Because I didn't know. You probably saw one of the many demos. Also, that is really funny. Yeah. I love that. Th that part's netted, by the way, so it's sad. It'd be funny if that wasn't netted. I should I should jump from Tower of Thinning Layers to Tower of Alien Radiance. I would be talking possible. You you're grind the way you grind Aubrey is hilarious. What? Huh? You spend like 14 hours on Alien Radiance straight and get to three and then you just give up. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most sketchy way of grinding, it's really funny. Uh, uh, uh. I'm probably the only person ever who finds the later floors harder. Uh, what? Of what? Harm alien radiance. Like, I, the only like floor in the first top that I don't like is like two. I don't mind one. Well, two is ass, two everybody thinking. knows that. Yeah, two is awful. Like, difficulty-wise, it is ass. Yeah. I don't think the gameplay either. You sample a song from Spongebob. You know, what if I grind- what if I can grind Alien Radiance for 11 hours again? Fun. Actually beat it this time? And don't no. just give up? I won't be this- I won't beat it that also, time. Also, I got this- I'm at 6 now. Fine. Damn. Like, what do you think is, like, the hardest scores? Hold on, this floor's the GBJ if you fail, so I'm gonna concentrate. Alright, please don't RNG me. Thank you. Please, dude. No way! Seven! What? <laughs> Tower of Jacundi Glowy. Okay, I've made this joke so many times. Seriously, if I could use that joke for any time, it would be this. This is the first floor of the tower that absolutely kicks your ass. The gameplay on this floor is really technical, really difficult, and except the first part that's said, you're getting punished if you fall here. You're going into the recovery obbies. Or, if you fail the last section of the floor, going back to floor 6. You might think that's great. You don't lose a life at all as well. In reality, it sucks. Firstly, you can ragdoll into the soft lock on 6 if you fall there, so it's not guaranteed you're going to be okay. Secondly, failing 6 is a soft lock, so it's like an insanely massive recovery obby. So, it actually sucks. I'd rather lose a life and take the short route back, because if I fall, I'm dead anyway. At least I'm not going to get f***ing ragdolled, right? Get used to seeing this floor a lot, because this is the first floor in the tower that really slaps you in the face. Um, I was not expecting to get here today. Alright, well, here's where this run's gonna end. Here's where it ends. Look at Nomai. I'm not passing this first try. Yeah. How did I land that? What the f***? Jesus Christ. Okay, the one thing I hate about Fuzzy too is like, they're all so short and you get nervous really fast. The what? Um, like, Fuzzy too much, so like, short, so I can't really like, prolong the murder. It just like, comes instantly. What? And, like, terrified. Uh. I should not be this far on my first attempt to at seven. Um. <laughs> um. That's great. This is actually like a miracle run. I 
campfire down there. What are you playing? I'm playing Venus in Post Gate 2. Oh my god. I remember that map. I don't know how far that is. I forgot. Alright, if I fail in this part, I only go back to 6, so. I yeah. felt the same thing down here. That's it. This part's hard, I'm not going to be surprised if I miss. Yeah. Ooh! Oh my god. Uh -huh. oh. This might be- really This fine. genuinely could get to 8. Oh my god, nice. I'm actually really close to 8 right now. Oh, this- oh my this god. looks janky. It's consistent, don't worry. Okay. okay good. Oh, I was like five jumps away from winning. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Okay, thank you. Just like last, I'm on the last jump, and this jump is oh hard. My God. The hardest part is not getting the climbing animation. Definitely. Oh my God! Oh my God! What is that jump? There's no- Why am I already- Day one of grinding this, already have gotten eight. There's no reason for this. The heart of the hostage fires. Pretty it's hard. Glue. It's gluey, it's so jacundy. True? Here we go. <laughs> We're actually on floor eight. Uh, okay then. Well, welcome to floor eight. If you're into design, then this floor should have you going bonkers. This is a floor- that's really cold, if you couldn't tell. The first section here sends you to the recovery alley, so don't be an idiot. After that, you come back to seeing the recovery system on floor 3. If you fall into the kill bricks here, you will slowly lose your jump power. If you don't get back onto a platform, you will lose all your jump power. And you can't get your jump power back, so you're soft locked. So you need to be quick if you fall on these sections. Other than the start, this floor is pretty much netted. The only exception is this tower's other soft lock. If you fail the last two jumps of the floor, you will get soft locked. But they're not that bad, so it isn't really a soft lock you are worried about when you're actually grinding the tower. <laughs> wow! Okay, uh, isn't this a GBJ? No, this sends you back to the recovery obby. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. I literally don't even care how this run ends. I'm just shot. Like, there's no reason why in under five hours of playing from the start that I've gotten eight. Like, what the f***? Nice, Alright, buddy. Now it's time to beat the out. It's time to beat the tower in 12 hours. No, I'm... The amount of runs I'm going to lose the 10 are going to be ridiculous. Is sunburn? Yes, it is hell. <laughs> the good news is Zoe found an alignment to the worst jump on the floor. That's really good. All right, here All we right. go. I'm gonna go for it. If y'all wanna watch. There's, this is a fluke. This is certainly a fluke. What the hell? Okay, I'm on God. the frame again. I'm on the pretty part of the tower. The problem is I can lose my run here. I literally could get to nine. I'm not even f joking. <laughs> so it's like I thing. said, this section is very killable. It's gonna take me a while. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna pass this part, but we'll see. Oh, I'm shaking, not the I didn't think it was that deep. Oh, I just killed my. Wait. Oh my god! Oh. 
Am I alive? Are you? The run's a- I can't tell if the run's alive or not. You can maybe get the jump off. Ah, the run's dead. RIP! <laughs> no, RIP! That I'm soft That was really far. That was, that was really far. Damn! Yay. God f damn. That was some big progress. Holy sh! I am so shocked I made it here. I'll try- I think there might be a way to save it, but I'm not too incredibly sure. So... I'm trying to think about how I want to go about it, though. If I go down here... Yeah, nah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Damn, dude! I'm so shocked! Um, um, that was a good piece you I'll send some link, um, if you want me. Floor ain't on day one with a catastrophic tower. No, no, no. Cataclysmic clears the count. Even though this tower's balancing is really heavy on the ending, I still passed one of the worst floors on my first try, being floor seven. That's freaking insane. Unfortunately, though, this video is already an hour long and we've ran out of time. But I have good news. Part two of this is already done. You heard me right. It's already edited and ready to go. To get people some time to watch this lengthy video, it will be coming out on the 17th of February, so two weeks after this video is posted. So don't worry, I'm not going to vanish for a month on you with this. But thank you very much to my members who support me doing this type of stuff, because for some reason people like to watch me suffer beating these insanely hard towers. Well, welcome to the Tower Jacundi Glowy. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in two weeks for the sequel. Bye bye.